We were going to tear it all down. The Institute, Providence, everyone who'd ever hurt us. We failed. The partners grew paranoid, made sure that Ortmeier's children would never challenge them again. I'm the only one who got away unchanged. The only one left who remembers. Ortmeier was Providence. Everything he did to us, everything he made us do, it all leads back to them. I'm breaking more rules than I care to count, Mr. Gray. What's your play? The partners hide behind a cloak of anonymity. Only one man knows their true identities. Your client, the top controller, the one they call the Constant. He is the key. <laughs> but he is untraceable. So what am I missing? A man would come to the Institute. A man with a Providence pin. The first constant. If we find him, if he's still alive, he's our way in. You don't know who he is, but 47 does. That's what this reunion is all about. Show them. You're just gonna hand it over. Our one bargaining chip. Olivia. Fine. 47's memory was erased, irreversibly at the time. But after Ortmeier's death, his estate was acquired by the Ether Corporation. And they made an antidote. It's a long shot, I know. This is not how it works. We don't just join the revolution. ICA is neutral. We don't take sides. I hate to break it to you, lady. But neutrality is a side. It's the side of the status quo. People have died. Civilians. You align yourself with terrorists. Murderers. Sometimes even monsters serve a purpose. Look. Enough. You have a choice. But I made mine a long time ago. I will finish what I started. Subject 47, most gifted of all my boys. So you're the pick of the litter. Tell me about the incident. The subject ran away. He and another boy. The instigator was punished accordingly. As were all the neighbors. My men did what needed to be done. It won't happen again. Bring your house in order, Doctor. You won't like the alternative. I remember. Gentlemen, let's go over the plan. The first constant is none other than Janus, the legendary Cold War spy master, a KGB senior officer and head of the sixth column special branch at Lubienka. Janus is a certified genius and expert of counterintelligence. He retired from the KGB in 1988 when he fell out of favor with the Kremlin and defected to the US. Shortly after, the Soviet Union collapsed. Now, it is unclear when Janus stepped down as the constant, but since 2004, he has been a resident of a quiet community in suburban Vermont. Mr. Gray. Right, so here's the catch. As an elite KGB agent, Janus was trained to withstand interrogation and torture. No amount of pressure will force him to disclose information he doesn't want to. Instead, we will need to search his home for clues. But if Providence learns of our presence, the game is up. So we frame Janus, make Providence think he was the real Shadow Client. Correct. 
I will file a false ICA report, claiming to have traced a number of calls from Janus's house to the Institute in Romania. The case will seem clear. Mr. Gray was only a figurehead. Janus was pulling the strings all along. And by eliminating him, we will have neutralized the militia once and for all. However, for this subterfuge to work, you'll also need to deal with Janus's security detail. A Providence Herald and former Secret Service agent by the name of Nolan Cassidy. Intel describes him as diligent and inquisitive. And we cannot risk that he contradicts our story to his employer. Seems workable. I certainly hope so. Everything depends on this next move, 47. You made this our fight. Now let's even the playing field. Whittleton Creek, Vermont. On the surface, a picture-perfect suburban dream. Wide roads, golden maple trees, and verdant lawns. Most residents here are white-collar professionals, ranging from university staff to government employees. Most, but not all. Janus's unpresuming home is protected by a host of bodyguards, and intel shows that the fragile former constant rarely leaves the property. Nolan Cassidy, on the other hand, roams the neighborhood streets. A recent arrival, the dutiful Providence Herald is busy making threat assessments and settling in with his security team. Now remember, this is about more than just revenge. Janus is the key to bring down Providence. So get in there and find us a lead. Good luck, 47. Forty-seven. I've marked your map with several points of interest. We're running this mission with very little upfront intel, but these locations could provide clues to help you obtain the information we need. Good luck. Love a man in a quality suit. Jeez, darling, I'm so hungry. Have you seen those beautiful patties back there? And Mr. Wilson just keeps standing behind the grill, even though there's clearly no more gas on it. I know, it's weird. Why doesn't he go grab a new canister? I'm telling you, these new folks are strange. Did you see that Cassidy guy snooping around here? He's been looking at the party three times already. Why not just go inside? It's open to everyone. Yeah. The Wilsons are throwing a barbecue and everyone's invited. It sounds like Nolan Cassidy has some interest in the party as well, but for some reason, he's unwilling to go inside. Maybe you can help fix whatever's wrong in there, 47. Page, all right. Oh, maybe he's a vegan? I don't trust him. Like a smoke that was thrown over the fence from the old guy's garden. No, man. I'm trying to stop. Ah, well. You know, I think someone in there is trying to help the old geezer stop as well. By throwing his pocket nails over the fence? It's pointless. There's no reason for him to kick the habit when he's already so close to kicking the bucket. I say.
You broke propane, just what we need for the grid. Can you... Oh, wow. Look at that. I should have been
made it. Yeah. But you have to admit there's something slightly off. I mean, really? Folks, the food is ready. Stop serving people, all right? Excuse me, you should try this. It really is to die for. Huh. Looks pretty busy here. I'll just wait my turn. Do I try special? You're welcome. It's made just for you. Pardon me. Can I offer you a little treat? There's nothing that exciting about little Susan, I'm afraid. <laughs> Probably the best time. Thanks a lot. It's nothing. Sounds good to me, Sue. Her teacher says she would have more beautifully than any other You should try this. What in the world? Let's hope he likes his food, 47. Thanks a lot. Anytime. Thank you very much. Oh. Hi there. Oh, hold this down Care for a long. taste. Oh. Oh, okay. excuse me. I need to see a doctor. Care for a snack. Uh-oh. Tell me, man. No. Because if it's you. contagious, oh god, that would not be good. Hey, 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 you're sick. Okay, you really should see a doctor. Are you sure you're okay? Okay. Cassidy is down. Good work, 47. Janus awaits your attention. Please. 
stand back. I'll check it out. Exactly! You think I'm insane? Of course I'm gonna stay right here! Nothing here. Returning to post. I got a space bubble, and you're in it. Matter, buddy. Uh, can you get up? Uh, can, can you hear me? Okay. <laughs> That's a Cassidy. I love hide and seek just as much as the next guy. Come on. So, the other day, I accidentally asked Janus about that urn in the basement. Say, did you see my photo? The group photo. Uh, Janus is looking for an old group photo. It might be interesting to see who's on it. You 
you look almost like an artist's rendering of the perfect man. Seriously? A new man once. Get out of my face. A doctor. He would have found you quite interesting, I think. to run a security check on you. It should only be a few minutes. In the meantime, you wait in the study. We'll lock the doors and my men will make sure you don't accidentally wander off. I'm sure you understand. Please, wait in there. 47, you have to find a way out of there. I can't possibly construct a viable ID for you in time. I'll have Miss Hall remotely interfere with their search, but we can't keep it up for long. Certainly an interesting turn of events. Still, no rest for the wicked, 47. You could probably slip back inside and give Janus his health check while his bodyguard is busy. Just be mindful of the patrolling guards.
I'm back. I suggest we go to the bathroom now. All right. Let's go then. Nicely done, 47. It's time for Janus to pay for his crimes. At last, the actions of the first constant catch up with him. Death feels like an easy way out for a man like Janus. Still. We are close now, gentlemen. Both to... Targets are dead. Take it easy. out and wants to talk and the problem is he just won't shut up always ranting about that damn lawsuit against Janus and waving piles of paper at me as if I give a rat's ass about their problems let the judge sort it out what do I want a lawsuit want between
resident. He might be just what we're looking for. Batty lives in number 432. All right, Doc, sorry. I'm just stressing out here, okay? Please, do what you can, all right? Yeah, talk to you. Terminator guy who's working on Batty's house? Same guy who just did Cassidy, right? Yeah. Sí, yo. Janus is apparently engaged in a civil lawsuit with another resident of Whittleton Creek. James Batty, the plaintiff, wants Janus to stop his annual landing of a helicopter near the local creek. The lawsuit also mentions Nolan Cassidy and his unlawful surveillance around town. Hmm. So Janus takes a helicopter trip once per year. I think we're on to something here, 47. 47? I think it would be beneficial to locate the unlawful surveillance mentioned in the lawsuit. Perhaps Nolan Cassidy's house would be a good place to start. Mm. 
Cassidy is certainly keeping a close watch on Janus. I'm willing to bet those surveillance tapes hold interesting information. recording of some sort. The note mentions another house. Perhaps Cassidy is using one of the vacant buildings as a base of operations, 47. Hmm. A letter from Janus to someone called Zoe. It looks like a draft and is full of explicit descriptions of how unhappy Janus is with Zoe and his sister having been appointed chairwomen of the Ark Society. Huh. I've heard that name before. This is a good find, 47.
One of Janus's old microfilms. It might contain important information. All you need now is to find a device to read it on. Clearly, Janus is a meticulous man. This microfilm contains a lot of heavily redacted minutes from what appears to be a yearly event of some sort. Plenty of initials and project code names that don't ring any bells. Janus is mentioned so by name throughout, Richard however. Wilson. This is a very important find, 47. Good work, 47. We now know Janus is meeting with the Constant at an event related to the Ark Society. And we have an approximate date as well. I think that's all we're going to get. We're close to the finish line. It's time to end this. All mission objectives are completed. 47, once you've left Whittleton Creek, I will notify Providence of our discovery. In the meantime, we'll go over the clues you found. Once we've located the Constant, we'll make our final move. You make it sound so easy. is more obscure outfits. I've heard whispers. A survivalist club for the global elite. Billionaires preparing for a global collapse. And now we know the Constant will attend their next gathering. So where is it? That's the catch. The report is redacted. No names, no location. So it's a dead end. I can't track them, not without ICA backup. Now, I'm no big shot analyst. But it seems to me, Janus was the Ark Society's founder. So chances are, they'll want to pay their respects in private. Track the coffin. Worth a shot. You're right. It comes back in flashes. Fear, anger, but like it happened to someone else. <laughs> Your gift and your curse, what they did to you. Well, I spent a long time feeling guilty about that. Now, I wonder who got the better deal. Yes, found something. What are we looking at? The ass end of nowhere. But this is where Janus's remains were shipped to. Our choice for a final resting place, wouldn't you say? Not bad. So we stake it out. Away to the next gathering. Then we waltz in and kidnap one of the world's most powerful men. Without ICA backup. Like I said, it's a long shot. 